Hi all folks, this is Max from NexusSHacks.com. So I've got the Nexus, my new Nexus S 4G here from Sprint. Um, I like this one because I still get 3G um, inside building. I get horrible coverage in my office here, home office, but this one still gets 3G, very good. Uh, just like my ACC Evo, whereas my T-Mobile Nexus S isn't as great. Um, anyway, um, I was going to make a video on how to install a ROM on the Nexus S 4G. The process is actually the same as the regular Nexus S, but I just want to make this video um, for those of you first timers on the Nexus S 4G. Uh, first, you got to copy over the ROM file, and if you're copy, um, if you're flashing like a CyanogenCM7 CM7 ROM or based off that, you have to set uh, install Google Apps separately, G Apps, blah blah blah. That's it. So, copy over your ROM file to your Nexus S4G, all right, and G Apps file if it require if the ROM requires it. And then what you're gonna do is uh, you can. Um, you can download Clockwork Mod, uh, Clockwork, um, sorry, ROM Manager off the market, um, or you can do it manually. But I'll show you how to do it manually. Um, I think this is, you know, better way. Well, just hold down the power button, power off, right? And by the way, I'm installing my first Evo 4G ROM right now, which is the NS4G. Deck ROM, I highly recommend it, even though I haven't tried it. You had some great ROMs for Evo, 4G, and 3D. And then let's get well, after your phone is powered off. Hold down the volume up button and the power button to get into bootloader. All right, and uh, go down to recovery and hit the power button to get into recovery. And if you don't have your phone rooted, of course you can't install new ROMs. A lot of sometimes people who don't know ask me that. Um, if you want, if you want to know how to root your phone, go to my site nexusshacks.com. I have it there, and then go to wipe data factory reset. Um, you do this for every ROM. Some ROMs actually do it themselves nowadays, but you want to just do it just in case. And that should take like five seconds. And by the way, um, you should use uh, Titanium Manager to back up all your apps and also if you use Gmail it's your contacts are backed up um, even if you don't use Gmail I highly uh, recommend you use uh, Gmail just for your contacts because it's so easy to back you know it's already backed up you know and uh, what you can do is go down to install zip from SD card hit the power button um, choose zip from from ah, sorry choose zip from SD card hit the power button and I'm installing the gingerbread dash ns 4 g dash deck um, actually I'll have the links below for first timers you can install this with me and I'll have links on uh, how to back up with titanium for people who don't know how to back up and restore apps uh, and then gingerbread um, the ROM file the zip file that you copied over earlier you're gonna hit the power button and say yes and this will install the new ROM but for this uh, specific this ROM, um, Evo Deck, sorry my English is gone today. Um, it's probably because I'm too excited, I just got this one. The Evo Deck ROM, you need to install Google Apps separately. Okay. And uh, I heard that Sprint blocked Wi Fi tethering. That's absolutely ridiculous. But you can, you know, with any ROM, you get it anyways. And then, um, and then you can just reboot for most ROMs. But for this ROM, Google Apps is missing, um, so you, we're gonna flash the gapps dash blah blah dot zip. All right, and this is also how you can flash a new kernel, a new kernel, basically like a overclock kernel. Uh, you can get back into Clockwork Mod Recovery and flash the zip file. That's what it's for. Anyway, go back and everything's done. Reboot and enjoy your new ROM. Um, I think, and I'm not sure if this. ROM can be overclocked. That's the first thing I'm gonna try to do. But I really love my Nexus S4G now um, because my Evo 3D I love it too, but it's kind of heavy. And this one I like it because it's slim as my other uh, Nexus S. Just it feels so good in your hands. This is probably the best design of all Android phones because I, you know, it's got the curved thing. And 
you know, it, it's really light compared to um, most other phones. And it's the flagship product of Google's, you know. This is the Nexus, you know. The first one was uh, the Nexus One, which I really loved. It's still a great phone. And the Nexus S4G. Uh, I know a lot of you have... Um... Oh, here we go. So let me just go skip all this real quick. Skip. Da -da 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 -da. So I do this like every day, like a hundred times after installing new ROMs. It's great. My 3G is working. Um, this is, by the way, ROM for Evo. Or sorry, Nexus S 4G only. Don't try to install it on a T-Mobile Nexus S or any other regular variants. About phone, this one actually is Android 2.3.5. Um, kernel is Shade at Toxigene. Right. And uh, I'm gonna go install set CPU real quick, and I'll be right back. I guess you need a custom kernel. Um, I'll do that later, but that's how you install a new ROM. Actually, this one I kind of don't recommend because um, the home button is not working. Uh, like the main button, you have to actually hit back, uh, which is kind of weird. It's just the 2.3.5 uh, Evo deck. I know he's gonna fix it, or some, you know, I know some of these ROMs. Maybe there's a menu button. So maybe somebody somebody can enlighten me. Anyway, that's how you install a new ROM. Um, actually, you know what? Don't install this ROM yet. Uh, I have. I'm gonna go install some other ROMs and play it. Try it out. So see y'all later.